So we're we were taking a little break. What the? F <laughs> there was someone standing in the corner. What? 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 what, what, what did you hear that? in Middletown, Ohio right now at the Post Town Elementary School, AKA the most haunted school in the world. Honestly, I was excited about this trip. Well, I like to feel emotionally challenged by things that are supernatural and spirity. I am the least emotionally equipped person to do something like this. I can't watch scary movies. I can't even watch a scary commercial. I am terrified of the dark. As a person, I'm pretty skeptical. If there's a simpler explanation for something, I'm gonna reach for that first. You will never catch me being scared on camera, but internally, I'm screaming. My coworkers, specifically my black coworkers, told me this was not such a great idea to go on this trip, you will regret it. The plan was, first we'd do a guided tour in the daylight, then, later that night, we'd explore the building alone. As we begin the tour in the daylight with our, our guides, I'm just kind of getting my sense for how scary this is gonna be. I was already on edge. This is what we call Sarah's stairwell. There's a story, it's not documented, that a little girl named Sarah who they think was about five or six years old, fell from the top stairwell all the way down to here. She did not die here, but she did succumb to her injuries like a day or two like later. Here. Like here. Yes, and we have, we actually caught the scream last, was it last week we were here? Yeah. We caught the scream, but they say you'll hear a scream. A lot of people, for some reason, get overcome with emotion and start crying when they're here. There was two train wrecks. There's a train, you'll hear it, behind here. One happened in the late 1800s and one happened in 1910. Middletown did not have a hospital at that time. They used the land as a triage. So now this is also a hospital. You're right, you're right. <laughs> We've also been told this land was used back in the day for a baby farm. I did not know what a baby farm was. But basically, if your child was born out of wedlock or whatever, you didn't have the means to take care of it, they brought it to a baby farm. For what purpose? To be, get rid of. To get rid of, yeah. Hearing the historical context for why this place is haunted complicated things for me. There were some things that I didn't enjoy hearing some things that I wish were omitted. And that was when I started having sensations of like my hand feeling as though someone was grabbing at it. Her hand is red. My hand is red. Huh? And I'm feeling things on my hand. Why is her hand red? It's almost overblown. Oh, right, right here. Yeah. And it was distinctly getting red in an area where if you go to like hold somebody's hand, that's where their thumb might go. This is a mind fuck. Is it? It's Can like we fun? are feeling shit. I mean, yeah. physical, like like a bug Presence. is on your elbow and then there's no bug when you look. That's happening. I, I don't know what, to, I don't have an explanation for that. And that's kind of what I'm grappling with right now. So we go upstairs to the classrooms and I, initially I felt safer up there. Once we moved to what they refer to as the bad teacher hallway, I started feeling immensely uncomfortable. We are now going into the mean teacher hallway. There was something very rigid and cold and unwelcoming about these rooms. Your heart rate starts to pick up a little bit as you go into them. If you guys are disruptive when you walk in, and then you guys are quiet once you sit down, you may hear this. Mm -hmm. I've heard that so many times, and it's because she's just letting the office know that you guys are in here after school. Oh. <laughs> she wants you removed. She wants you removed. So is it safe to assume something like that goes like to the principal's office or? So if the third floor is the final level of this video game, then the principal's office is the final boss. I really didn't pay attention to like the layout of the land. I have no idea where I'm going. I hope I don't get lost. I hope I don't get trapped in a room. I hope I don't trip and fall down the stairs. This is where the secretary sat and the principal's office is in there. I just find it kind of odd that the principal's office is so secluded and I get like negative vibes from that room. So I'm just like, I just don't feel like one of the principals here was a good guy. Knowing that we have to go back to the school after dark, I don't know, man. I was absolutely dreading going back to the principal's office by ourselves at night. They're basically throwing the keys to the building over to us. They literally told us like lock the door on your way out. We have free reign of this entire 
abandoned school. Realistically, where is everyone's head at? I'm less eager to do this than yeah, I was going in. I'm fully terrified. I came into this trip feeling like I want to make a good video. It'd be disappointing if nothing happened. Mm -hmm. That's the worst case scenario. Now, I don't want anything to happen. Are we turning lights on in any rooms? We have, yes. we have plenty of flashlights. <laughs> Let's start with them off. And if we need the lights on, it's like a safety mechanism. Oh, I would say the opposite. No, turn I would say person, turn it on, feel the energy. energy. I, just, I am on your side. I'm game for anything. I, I do want to capture something. I want to make this trip yeah. worthwhile. Yeah. I think this is us just going through this as people and uh, we'll see what happens. Now, do we want to experience something? <laughs> no. Oh man, are we really doing this? <laughs> We're just four people just here for a good time. And Chris just went for it. I think this whole time I was just really hungry for something to happen to me. Uh, should we get out of this room? Yes. My that. vote is yes. Chris, how are you feeling? Chris, Maybe. Gonna stay. I'm going to stay here for 30 seconds. Uh, so. okay, Lights off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn them off. Turn it oh, off. Oh, wait, no. What do you mean? Or like, like, but we're in here. Oh, so. no, I can't <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't do just the dark. We'll leave you here and you could be in the dark by yourself. I feel like things are moving in the periphery of my vision. Me too. I'm not into this. Me trip. too. Okay, get out of it. All right, all right, all right. Me too. As skeptical as I want to be, I am scared by horror movies watching them, and now I'm in one. I just want this to be over with as quickly as possible. So up next is the cafeteria. Just a bunch of New Yorkers saying hi. Hi, my name is Jordan. I'm very friendly. Yo, the only thing I was looking forward to on this tour was the snacks that I had brought. When we walked back through the cafeteria and the guy's bright idea was to sit at the table and start eating, that was the first time that I actually sat down in a room and felt the most vulnerable. My name is Jordan. I love little kids. I have a nephew, so I love to play and have fun. If you're here, why don't you let us know by making a little sound just so we think we know that you're here. My hand is like really red again. My hand is like, it like feels like it's on fire. In a, you shouldn't be close to this or no, just a like, like, a, like, like the sensory. sensation that I had earlier where they were like, oh, maybe she's trying to play with you. Oh. Like it feel like I feel like someone like just and the top of it is getting red again Like it feels like someone's like I was telling Alicia like where I'm feeling it is where you would hold somebody's hand mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If There's somebody here and you're trying to hold Jordan's hand if you're trying to play with us We appreciate that uh, you know why they're not going to respond to you because you sound like a guidance counselor I was <laughs> literally <laughs> thinking that like I sound incoherent Sarah, if you're listening or you're here, we are very sorry to hear what happened to you. It's funny, I don't feel like the overwhelming sadness down here. <laughs> There's literally a sensation that's like pushing me up the stairs. But whatever, okay. I, okay, okay, so let's so just go. Do you feel compelled to follow it though? Yeah, let's just go. I don't want to go upstairs. <laughs> when we got to the top, I had an overwhelming sense of like dread, fear, sadness. <sighs> The moment that I took away my shield, aka the camera, something weird happened. Let me stand, not hide. Ooh, there's my phone. Ooh. <laughs> it's a voice. And where's the voice coming from? My pocket. Does that mean that a ghost is trying to establish a connection with us? Possibly. I'm wondering if what's happening to everyone is that they're hearing the story and they're empathizing with the character in the story. So you feel bad and you're feeling a little bit of what she might have felt, but it's still freaky. You know what's interesting though? The closer I get to Jordan, the more I hear things. <laughs> like really? it's, it's weird. That was the first time that a day verbalized that the closer that he gets to me, the more he feels and physically hears, which was terrifying, but 
very comforting and affirming. And now we're heading towards the janitor's workshop. All of the guys walk into the room, and again, I physically cannot walk in. The only way that I could describe it is that a wall is immediately put back up, and like you watch in a movie or a game, someone just bashing into it. You pick, I mean, listen. No, but I want you to feel like if you go back, oh, no. you have a, a, a system around you. Uh, oh, it's I'll okay. Her escort if she go it's okay. I'm going to just stand here. Chris. Okay. I was telling myself that anytime Jordan needed to walk away and, and regroup, that I would escort her there uh, as if that was some noble thing I was doing. Honestly, I was just also scared. Back to safety. <laughs> I feel good about being halfway done, but like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about the like bad teacher hallway. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, that chair has your name all over it. I, I don't see my name on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> we understand you're the janitor here. Oh, Let's. That's enough. <laughs> but you're so close, you might as well see it. Or maybe I don't you did already. See yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, now I'm like, why? What is the point of all this? <laughs> Before we headed upstairs, I wanted to go into the cafeteria one more time to take some flash pictures. I am one second into vlogging that, oh, here I am going into the cafeteria. So we're, we were taking a little break. What the f <laughs> Turns out that it was just the owner of the building just coming to check on us. Now it was time to finish what we had come to do. Who knows what else could be going on or like waiting for us upstairs? <sighs> The adrenaline is back. So one thing that Daryl warned us about is not to stay at the head of the central stairs because that is the precise location of a portal, which is sort of like a train stop for spiritual public transit, I guess. Jordan, there's a, a refreshing... Uh, no, once you feel bad, leave. Okay, this is the portal. And the reason it was located there is that it's at the nexus point of iron water, copper, and limestone. No I'm pressure definitely getting stay. nauseous standing there. Just then get the fuck yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to sit in here? She's going to read to the children. We walk into the room. It was a room that I always felt welcomed, wanted, and almost like needed in. If you're here with us, I was told that you like your stories read to you. There once was a family of three bears. There was a great big pop bear, middle-sized mama bear. As I'm going through the story, I could start to feel pressure on my feet. It feels like that there's someone sitting at my feet. <laughs> I can only imagine that my voice is now like echoing through the hallways and welcoming any other person into a room that I originally felt comfortable in. We then are deciding what room to go into next, but are suddenly getting overwhelmed by the hallway we're in and the fact that we can't see down the hallway in either direction. Dude, go in so I don't have to be in the hallway. Nope, nope, nope. You feel like all the blood is like coursing in my body in here. Oh, I fucking hate this room. So, <laughs> I can't walk in. Uh, yeah, I'm Did feeling- somebody shine the light on the uh -huh. Oh my God. We need to take these pictures and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Play something happy. Ooh, what is this? Is that this sinister music? <laughs> oh no, he's oh, doing the sitting Jesus thing. Christ. Oh no. Chris, oh my god, he would go back into a room and like sit in the corner. It felt like when everyone was just trying to get through the situation as quickly as possible, I was still trying to pull the brakes a little bit. Let's see if something happens. So as we're going back down the bad teacher hallway where I originally did not feel welcome. The feeling was so intense. We cannot be disruptive. You don't like this room? Yeah. Okay. So our tour guides warned us about this room that has like an intercom, and they say occasionally you can hear it being pressed. I heard it. Yeah. I heard Me too. it. Me too. Nuclear. Yes. No. I knew at some point I would just have to dissociate and like maybe wake up and the tour was over. We're almost done, but there's one room left. It's the principal's office.
Yo. What? There was someone standing in the corner. <laughs> what do you want? What, what do you want? I need you. I need you. Fuck, I'm in here. I'm in here. in here. Let's look I've at all the corners. I've never seen anything before until that moment. And I can't now, like, explain that away. I'm literally <laughs> getting a headache sitting here. How are let's, you? Let's get you out. Okay. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'll help her. <laughs> I will leave as well. All right. I might keep sitting here. Why? Uh, you've been you've been possessed. Yeah, maybe you two. Maybe you two should sit here together. Okay, we're out. He runs cross country. Yeah. Look. It hurt. What was that? I don't know. That like two taps? Yeah. I heard that for sure. <laughs> That wasn't from outside, right? No, I, I felt it like maybe here. Like in the wall or something? Uh, no, I mean, I felt it like maybe like in this corner. <laughs> like it, it was like this, right? Like, yeah. Oh, oh God, that sounded like <laughs> eerily exactly similar. Like, yes. <sighs> A lot of the stuff in the principal's office is pretty hard for me to wrap my mind around. Things have definitely been reaffirmed about my beliefs. I was always open and receptive to this kind of experience. Am I still a skeptic? Maybe I'm less of one. I don't know if I'm ready to believe in ghosts, but I'm definitely not ready to provide an alternate explanation. Am I a believer? I don't know, but I feel like I did experience something. Do I want to do this again? I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs>